So we just saw how we could edit the content of an element simply by using document.getElementById and .innerHTML. Well, there's another really great function called .value that we can use that will actually let us get the information from input tags. So what I've done is I've created a little form. I have two inputs. First one with an ID of username. Second one with an ID of password. I have a button at the end with a type button, not a type submit. Type submit will reload the entire page. That's not what we want to do. If we reload the page, we won't be able to see what we just did. We also have this on click event for get info. We're going to come back to this in a second, but this is basically what's referencing our function. All right, so let's go into the JavaScript and we're going to write a function here. By the way, I should mention that we're using a function here because we're going to be clicking this over and over again just to display it. Um, so it's really useful in this case um, because when you're actually using a on click event, we want to reference a specific function to say, hey, when you click on this button, I want this to happen. So we have the get info function, which is connected to our on click get info button. All right, so only this button can affect this function. All right, so let's see, let's use var username equals document dot get element by ID username, because that's the ID of our username input dot value. Okay, so this is actually going to provide the value that we put into it. All right, so if I write my name as, you know, my username is Matt, it will store Matt in this variable of username. So go ahead and try to do the same thing with password really quickly. So pause it, pause the video, and try creating this very, something very similar for password. All right, so for password, it's almost identical. You can just paste it, password, and password. There we go. So now we created a new variable called password, and we're referencing the element with an ID of password. All right, so now what we can do is, let's just make sure all this is working. So let's do console.log, and we'll just write your username is username plus and your password is plus password. All right, so we have everything here. Let's go ahead, go back to our page, refresh. There's our two inputs. So I'll just do Matt and my password is password and I'll click it. And there we go. Your username is Matt and your password is password. I can change it right now. Let's go with Matthew and pass and it changes it. So that's how we retrieve data from a form. That's how we would store it as well. So we would actually store the data in variables and then we would manipulate those variables in different ways to work with our database and whatnot.